Once you get AutoDS set up, you'll start at the dashboard. We'll go ahead and start there. You'll, you'll come into your dashboard, and I recommend updating your listings. So come over on the left-hand side to Active Listings, and that will show you all of the active items that you have here. So it's always going to be best when you're listing an item on eBay to have a unique title. I haven't done that with my listings, and I'm still getting orders and, and uh, sales the last uh, well, couple of weeks here. Um, I've done $137 in, uh, in sales since I've started it. So I'm still getting sales, but I would recommend updating those titles. So you can come over here and just check this box to check all of those, and then come up to this button at the top that says Change Titles. So we've got all these bulk change, ti um, change titles, filter, columns, customize, sync with eBay. And of course, this may change. Uh, they, they might have something different by the time you watch this video. Keep that in mind. But what we're looking for is the option to edit these listings in bulk. And uh, what I want to focus on right now is changing the titles. And so this Change Titles button looks like an obvious one at the moment. So that's what I'm going to click on. And that will let me come in and edit these titles. So when that uh, starts, you've got, uh, you, you've got a basic, you know, something you can do to all of them, which we don't necessarily want to do. Um, or we've got individual items here that we can uh, start changing. And so right down here, we've got 80 remaining, 80 uh, um, characters on the title. We can click on Paste Current. That will put our current title in there. And then if we delete that last one, we can see that we no longer have 80 left. We have two remaining. So I might go in and remove that brand title, for example, and just say LED string lights with remote control. Um, and we can change that with remote control. LED waterproof decorative lights. Well, we don't need all, all that there again. We've already got LED lights. And so I'm going to take that section there with more keywords, cut it from here, and then I'm going to put it right over the top of that and then just add the word string back in there. So we've got LED string lights with remote control. Um, we've got decorative in there. We've got uh, we could put in holiday. We could put in Christmas. Um, we could put in outdoor. Get rid of that W there. Outdoor. There we go. Now we've used all characters, best possible title. Uh, I think I can get now. Of course. I came up with that just from my experience for the last 20 years of coming up with titles. You might need to go and do a little bit of research on eBay. So you could go to eBay, see if we can find one here to use, and you could do a search for LED string light. And remember, when you're looking for keywords to put in your title, you want to run a search for something like that. Then we want to scroll down here on the left-hand side, and we want to go click on the Show Only Sold Items. This is taking its time loading everything for me. And we go to Sold Items. And so now we're looking at items that have actually sold. And then the next thing I like to do is change this from Ended Recently to highest first. So we've got the higher priced items that have sold. And we can use keywords that they have used. We do want to use keywords that are relevant to our product. So we want to keep that in mind. But uh, we could put you know, diode, for example. Maybe that's something we could put in. We could put in how big the item is or how long it is, the number of feet, which we'd have to do a little research from our list to find out. So we're going to have to open multiple tabs or windows here to really do this work and do the research while we're putting this in. Okay. So what might be a good idea is to come uh, over here and open that in, an, in its own tab. So if we have, we can open 
right click on this active listings open link in a new tab and so now we have multiple tabs up here at the top so we've got the one where we're editing the titles and then we've got a tab here for the active list that's loading that will have our items on it so that way I can click on the item for the the resource link and go find out more details about the product see if there are keywords in the description that I might want so see we can go to the source ID and click that that opens that in another tab up at the top so pay attention to your tabs there we're going to have multiple tabs open here so we can go back to our active list tab we don't want to go away from that we've got the new tab open with the the details of the product and then we've also got our editing tab open up there that we can go back to so again you'll you'll want to pay attention to those tabs so here we can see a little more detail about this. Uh, uh, they've got all these inform um, information details. So we've got battery powered here, um, B lights, B string lights. So if that's something we wanted to put in, we could do that. Simulated honeybee um, decor. So these are, uh, sounds like these are, specifically lights that look kind of like humming uh, or honeybees okay so if we wanted to see what our listing looked like with that we could click on this here to go to our eBay listing and that will pull up a link to the item so we can see exactly what they're doing for us on the listing notice they've got all the images in there those are all pulled over automatically from the Auto DS listing tool and we scroll on down we've got the item specifics in there uh, and then they've pulled the description so we've got good descriptive information uh, that LED B string lights is an ideal party wedding Christmas Halloween and New Year decoration so there we are we've got all the the descriptive information so it's a very clear very um, descriptive listing okay and just continue down through the list updating all of your titles until everything is updated